Hello everyone and welcome to Florence, a city that attracts so many visitors on an annual basis. Of course, there are many who come here for the football. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Fiorentina and they face Sassuolo. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, here's how it looks for Fiorentina. Giacomo Bonaventura plays alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so for the Sassuolo starting lineup. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the game begins. Lopez and in possession Milenkovic well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout what are you expecting to see from him Stuart well he's the most creative player on the field he can run with the ball he can get himself out of tight situations he can see a pass he's very creative with his play I think he's going to be the outstanding player today Domenico Berardi went in strongly, decisively. Bonaventura. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Filip Juricic. Berardi has it. Tolian Davide Fratesi good technique displayed still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead able to get a body in the way dangerous looking through ball it's a neat move but they dealt with the threat first Losing possession a bit easily. Torreira. Bonaventura. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. 
I thought that was stoppable. Rogerio Ferrari has it and in possession Rogerio read it magnificently and intercepted Piontek it is a decent looking attack here well nothing comes of it it looked promising so getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage albeit not by a lot Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far well they've worked hard and played well to be in front here but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time well a good tackle Torreira shot attempted full credit, wonderful stop Tolia. Fratesi. Now Lopez. Skamaka. Philip Juricic. It's opening up for them. What a save! Now, how about the short corner? Gianmarco Ferrari. And take it away. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Bonaventura. It's with Piontek. Duncan on the ball. Bonaventura making sure it didn't get past him. Not totally confused as opponent. He'll take this on. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Rogerio. Well, he's lost the ball. Playing with purpose and control. Takes the shot. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Well, they know they need to stop him. Simple save, really. Thirty minutes left for play. Now well, they've lost the ball. Nicolas Gonzalez. Callejon. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. And a substitution in the offing. Lopez. Well, there it is. Fiorentina have had a lot of the ball in the last 15 minutes and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Couldn't hang on to the ball. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that'll be a free kick. 
into the final 20 minutes. A potential danger here. He simply couldn't beat the first defender. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, they've decided to make a change. And he's fired over the corner. A decisive clearance it was. Cajon. Well, body in the way. And the ruling is offside here. Grégoire de Frel. Now what can they do from here? De Frel. Oh, he needs to clear it here. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Filip Duricic. Cristiano Biraghi still pushing for what could be a winner. And flag raised offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Grégoire de Frel. And foxing the defender. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Touched onto the woodwork. Well, what a big moment that could prove to be. The keeper's just kept them in it. What a save. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, they've done it. They forged ahead. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Well, it still could be dangerous. And plenty of room in the wide area. Pulls it back. Well, flinging himself at the ball. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And there's the delivery. Well, able to survive that attacking push. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game. But they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today, only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver.